The Central Board of Trustees CBT of the Employees Provident Fund Organization EPFO has recommended an increase of 0.05% in the interest on provident fund deposits. In 2020-2021, the interest rate was 8.5%. The CBT cut it to 8.1% for 2021-2022 in March 2022. The total principal amount with the EPFO is Rs 11 lakh crore. In the last financial year, the total amount of interest was Rs 77,424.84 crore for a principal of about Rs 9.56 lakh crore. BJP government did away with the nearly three-decade-old 4% reservation for Muslims in the other backward classes, OBC, category and distributed it equally among the Virshavalingayats and Vokkaligas to dominant landowning communities in the state at 2% each. On 14th June 2022, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had announced the Agnipat scheme as approved by the Union Cabinet for recruitment of youth in the armed forces for four years. The process aimed to take in about 46,000 young men and women in the defence forces in next one year. The centre will continue the ban on wheat export as long as the country does not feel comfortable in domestic supplies. The FCI is estimated to procure 341.5 lakh tonnes of wheat this season as against 187.92 lakh tonnes procured during the last Rabi season. The centre had finalised procurement estimates based on the information furnished by the states. The estimated production of wheat, according to the Agriculture Ministry, is around 1,121 lakh tonnes in this Rabi season. The first Trade and Investment Working Group, PIWG, meeting under India's G20 presidency started in Mumbai on Tuesday with Commerce Secretary Sunil Barthwal emphasising the need for trade finance cooperation among members to help reduce the widening trade finance gap. India has come under fire at the World Trade Organization, WTO, for avoiding questions raised by members on its minimum support price, MSP, programs for food grains, particularly rice, where subsidies have breached prescribed limits. India's MSP programs are under scrutiny as it is the first country to invoke the Bali Peace Clause to justify exceeding its 10% ceiling of the total value of rice production for rice support in 2018-2019 and 2019-2020. The Karnataka government's decision to scrap the 4% quota for Muslims within the other backward classes, OBC, category and earmark an additional 2% each to the dominant Vokaliga and Vishavalingayat communities is a divisive gamble in the expectation of electoral dividends. The scrapping of reservation for Muslims, whose poorer members will now have to compete with the general category for the 10% economically weaker sections quota, is reminiscent of the abrogation of the 5% quota for Muslims in Maharashtra in 2015. When Benjamin Netanyahu began his current term as Israel Prime Minister in December last year, he identified four main goals for the country's 37th government, block Iran, restore Israel's security and governance, deal with the cost of living problem and expand the circle of peace with Arabs. The extreme right has long argued that the judicial checks and balances are preventing the country from realizing its true Jewish identity, the planned judicial reforms, which would give Parliament control over judicial appointments and the powers to override Supreme Court rulings, are a part of this push. India's digital economy is set to reach a whopping $1 trillion by 2026. The current draft of the bill tries to tackle the issue of conflicting sectoral regulations in Section 29, it states that the provisions of the bill will complement and not create exemptions from existing regulations, but in case of conflict, the bill will take precedence. The first part allows the bill to fill in any regulatory gaps, 
but the second part raises concerns about sectoral regulations that may go beyond what the bill provides. The global community has adopted two major approaches to regulate privacy and protect data, comprehensive legislation and sector-specific regulations. The European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, embodies the comprehensive approach, offering the strongest and most stringent framework to date. Meanwhile, the sectoral approach in the United States, as seen through laws such as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, in healthcare, and the Gramm-Leach-Bliley Act, GLBA, for financial institutions, is a patchwork of regulations tailored to specific industries. Germany also has Bundesdatenschutzgesetz, BDSG, which in some cases has stricter provisions compared to the GDPR. The European Data Protection Board, EDPB, made up of representatives from each EU member state's data protection authority, provides guidance on the implementation and interpretation of the GDPR, including sector-specific issues. The American sectoral approach to data protection has been deemed flawed for various reasons, including inconsistent protection, problems in enforcement, overlapping and contradictory provisions, and a lack of federal regulation leaving certain sectors unprotected. The DPDP bill, therefore, must serve as the minimum layer of protection, with sectoral regulators having the ability to build on these protections. The Koran, through Surah Nisa clearly outlines the principles of inheritance for both direct and indirect aids. Verse 7 states, For men there is a share in what their parents and close relatives leave, and for women there is a share in what their parents and close relatives leave, whether it is little or much. These are obligatory shares. Within Islamic law, Options are available to such a couple in case they want the property to remain within the family. The first option is to make a will or wasiyat under which a person can declare that upon his death, a particular A shall inherit not more than one-third of the property. Besides wasiyat, there is also the concept of virasat. Under virasat or inheritance, there is the option of hiba which allows unrestricted transfer of wealth or property to a person during the lifetime of the donor. In the case of the Kerala couple, hiba provisions could have been used to transfer all the property in the name of the daughters during the lifetime of the parents. 